As I've continued to play more roguelike games, I've noticed I'm becoming less concerned with how the game feels to play and more on how my decisions affect the experience. The mechanics can feel fine, but if the decisions and choices you make don't feel impactful, the game can fail to hold a player's interest. Inkbound, developed by Shiny Shoe, caught my attention with its theming and focused on tactical turn-based combat. Shiny Shoe also developed Monster Train, and already having a reputable roguelike game under their belt, I was curious to see the experience Inkbound would deliver after recently playing less than stellar roguelike games. Inkbound is a tactical turn-based roguelike where you play as a Needless, a sentient being from the Sea of Ink, an alternate realm where stories exist and live. Needless are unable to speak, but after binding with a quill, you take on an aspect, or class, that are echoes of individuals known as binders that have previously existed. The Sea of Ink and the stories within it are fading away due to the Unraveled stealing ink and hoarding it for themselves. In an effort to preserve the stories that are in danger, an individual known as the Inkbound has been organizing an effort to fight back against these villains. After a brief tutorial, you find your way to the Athenium, the center of worlds within the Sea of Ink and acting base of operations for the Inkbound. Here you discover that the Needless were created by the Inkbound as a means of repelling the Unraveled. Within the Athenium, you can interact with other players and NPCs and begin a run by delving into the Sea of Ink. NPCs can give you quests and offer additional world building between runs, often having new dialogue unlocked as you complete tasks within the game, which I think is fantastic for creating the feeling that your actions are having an impact on the game world. These additional conversations also function as character building for the NPCs and prevents them from only being talking heads to dump lore. Gameplay in Inkbound is focused on turn-based combat arenas and defeating villains that are stealing ink and destroying stories for the Unravel. Villains are the final boss you face at the end of your run, which is chosen when beginning a playthrough. During a run, you traverse various locations typical of the roguelike genre, combat, shops, and random events. While this is functionally a tree of nodes progressing to a boss, it is structured in a way similar to Hades and lets you choose from three different events for the next room. I'm a big fan of this style of traversal, because it keeps the player immersed in the gameplay and allows for an engaging cost analysis of the available options after each arena. In combat, you alternate turns with enemies and gain will to spend on bindings or skills to eliminate threats. Enemies often spawn in waves, and you can see where they will spawn as ink globs on the ground. On your turn, you can see the areas that enemies threaten to attack on their turn, which provides information that you can use to plan your movement and attacks. While you're able to move freely within the arena, you have a limited amount of movement each turn, visualized as a blue circle around your character. Performing an action locks in movement taken beforehand, which is noteworthy because you can conserve your movement to escape danger after attacking. There is an impressive amount of combat variety in Inkbound, thanks to the aspects, but also thanks to additional bindings that you're able to obtain during your run. In total, there are eight aspects to choose from. Initially, only four are available, but the remaining four can be unlocked by completing quests obtained around the Athenium. Every aspect has three unique bindings and a unique passive mechanic that you must be aware of in order to be as effective as possible. Throughout runs, you generally obtain two additional bindings, along with augments and ascensions that empower your bindings and create variants. You also collect vestiges, magical items that provide unique effects and contribute to set bonuses that further enhance your abilities. In my experience, vestiges are the major contributors to your build for a given run, and while you have a limited number of vestige slots, Inkbound implements vestigial shrines where you're able to destroy a vestige to permanently gain double its set bonus. I think the vestige and set systems create an extremely engaging cost-benefit analysis because the value of vestiges dynamically changes the further you get into a run. Sometimes a vestige is worth keeping for the effects it grants, and sometimes it's better to sacrifice them to increase your set bonus and free up the inventory space. While I do think the Vestige and Combat systems are Inkbound's greatest strengths, there are other things that I think are also handled well. For one, there is a surprising amount of customization, so much in fact that at first it was a little intimidating. You're able to customize the body color of your Needless, choose a hairstyle and hair color, and build a unique face with multiple layered markings. As you continue playing the game, you also unlock additional styles and cosmetics for each aspect, and emotes for interacting with other players. There is a multiplayer element to Inkbound, but I didn't engage with it too much for my review because the game is very playable solo. In fact, separate ranks are tracked for solo and group play, and succeeding in a run increases your rank and the difficulty of subsequent runs of that type. One of the things I didn't particularly care for is how storytelling is handled in Inkbound. While there is technically a narrative being spun, I felt disengaged from it most of the time because of how it's presented. NPCs generally talk at the player rather than with the player, and it doesn't help that you're playing as a nameless and voiceless sentient ink creature. NPCs are fully voiced, with some performances being great while others are less so, but it is a bit unfortunate that a game themed around saving stories leaves me disengaged with the narrative it attempts to build. 
but I've said in the past that a poor story can be saved with good gameplay, and I think Inkbound successfully delivers that. Overall, Inkbound is a very fun and engaging tactical game that offers an impressive amount of variety and depth. The aspects offer a wide variety of playstyles and strategies, and the amount of bindings, augments, and vestiges that can be unlocked opens room for experimentation and satisfying combos that I think elevate the experience even further. I think if you're a fan of turn-based combat or roguelike games in general, Inkbound is an easy game to recommend. Thanks for watching, take care, and remember, keep having fun!